Well, a new Miss Arkansas was recently crowned, and we're thrilled to have her with us this morning in studio. Darren Dollum, thank you so much for taking the time to be here. No, I know thank you, you have been so busy since being crowned Miss Arkansas. It's been a whirlwind, for sure. I bet. Well, you're a local girl. You're from here. You yeah. grew up in Greenwood, went to school here in Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. um, how has the support been from our community? Really great, both in Greenwood and in, in Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I was in a sorority in college, and they have just been absolutely over the moon and, and so supportive. Um, and then also, even from my hometown, I mean, I can't wait to go back for my homecoming mm -hmm. back in mid-July and, and see everybody and, and really go back to my roots, I guess you would say. It's been, you wouldn't think that an entire town could rally around one human being, especially. Oh, I bet Greenwood could. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Well, and I was their mascot for about three years in so high fun. school. Um, so I was Bogey the Bulldog. And so I guess you know back you know people can't really make that that uh, connection they're like now that was the girl that was in the, right. the big bulldog <laughs> costume and that's me um, but it, it's been fantastic both both in Fayetteville and in, in Greenwood and Fort Smith well take me back to the night that you were crowned it must have been very surreal but also just one of those moments you likely will never forget yeah well I, I did forget it for a little bit I think I might have blacked out a little bit when it <laughs> happened um, but I mean it was just absolutely fantastic because I've always I mean I started competing in this system when I mm -hmm. was 18 uh, well 17 at the time because my birthday would have made me 18 by Miss Arkansas so my first year yeah. Miss Arkansas I had just graduated high school I was an 18 year old going into college never lived on my own and I you know was just kind of not overwhelmed, but I just did Receiving. not know what right. being Miss Arkansas was going to entail. Um, and I remember watching and seeing um, Lauren McDaniel was crowned Miss Arkansas that year, also from, from Fayetteville. And uh, yeah, I saw the confetti can, and I was like, that's going to be so cool if I ever got a confetti can in one day, um, which sounds so trivial. And then I hear my name called, and I'm out, and I'm, I'm waving at my parents, and I'm, I'm Miss Arkansas. And then I turn around, and I see confetti, and I was like, you know, I remember when I was 18, and I was younger, and thought this would be really cool and it is and it, yeah. it's just such a surreal moment and then turning around and seeing all my friends and and, and the girls that I've been competing with and, and come really close to over the past several years yeah. was also amazing well tell us a little bit about your platform it's amazing what you're gonna be doing with your platform over the next year so um, tell us a little bit about it so my platform is called know who you are and mm -hmm. I really try and focus on the root of addiction I want to bring addiction awareness especially in Arkansas where we're ranked number one between the ages of 12 and 17 yeah. for opioid addiction um, but we don't really think about where Addiction can come from and it's right. not just a genetic component or a character trait it can really stem from not understanding your self-worth not having goals for yourself mm -hmm. and then falling into peer pressure because of that yeah so I focus on the younger generation mostly and talk to them about setting goals for themselves and knowing that they're worth it and knowing it's okay to be different but also knowing that it's okay to stand up to peer pressure even though what you're doing might not be what everybody else right. is and then explaining to college-age students and older high school students what it looks like to see addiction so that they can recognize those signs in themselves and in their peers um, and then talking to parents and opening that dialogue because yeah. it is something that needs to be talked about even though we might not want to yeah it is a very important issue and we look forward to seeing what you do with your platform well, this thank year you. thank you so much for stopping by thank we appreciate you, so you taking the time to be here we'll be right back